There was a time in my life where I was good for nothing. Actually, I felt like a failure and a loser when I saw other people speaking so fluently in school, colleges and during interviews. I was like this pencil. I would try to sharpen my skills, but something pulled me back. I was afraid of speaking. I was afraid of being mocked. I was afraid of being crushed. You know what? I was afraid of my adversities. Have you ever been afraid of your adversities? Yes. yes. If you ever felt broken in your life at one point in time, there's a pencil in front of you. I need you to break that pencil right now. Congratulations, most of us here are sitting in the same boat. And congratulations, you never felt broken. Well done on that part. But we are unique. We are something different. We have something else in our life. Once upon a time, there was an old mule that fell into a dry well. Remember the story? Yes. The farmer came running and realized the mule was too old for him and the well is too deep. He looked at the mule and decided that I can't help him. He called his neighbors and told them and requested them, please help me bury the mule with dirt. And everybody started burying the mule with dirt. The farmer puts the first shovel of dirt. And the dirt hits the back of the mule and it screams in cacophony or whatever the mule does. Ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh. Second shower of dirt. Third shower of dirt. Fourth shower of dirt. And when the farmer puts the fifth shower of dirt, the mule would shake it off. And the dirt fell on the ground. It stepped on the dirt. It came up with an idea every time the shower of dirt would hit its back, the mule would shake it off and step up slowly and gradually. Step up and shake it off. Step up and shake it off. Step up. What it felt like would bury the mule actually helped him. And in no time, my friends, the mule was actually climbing the dry well and it emerged tranquilly over the dry well. My vision is very simple in life. No matter the good things or bad things should determine your destiny. No matter the good things or bad things should determine your destiny. The mule did not allow bad things to determine his destiny, then why are we? There was a one time in my life I actually let other people, bad people, bearing dirt on me. I didn't know what to do. I was in that position for a very long time and I was so wrong about it. Being defined after a lot of deliberation and dedication and determination, I decided that I will not let them bury me under the dirt. I said shake it off and step up. I joined Toastmasters in 2012 because I wanted to sharpen my skills. I thought I should become a better version of myself. Maybe I should change my inhibitions. Maybe I should change something from my weaknesses. Maybe I should do something about my life. When I started giving my speeches, it was my first icebreaker speech. When I delivered it, it was terrible. And everybody gave me a standing ovation. I thought something is definitely wrong with Toastmasters. <laughs> but it was the first time in my life I saw hope. Mm. That hope led me to write my second speech and I delivered it better than my first one. And this time, no standing ovation. It was confirmed Toastmasters Definitely wrong. There's something wrong with those masters again. <laughs> but later I learned that standing ovation is given to everybody for their first speech despite their flaws. Gradually, I started working 
on my project objectives, on my manuals. I would read those objectives thoroughly. I would write my speeches in advance. I would practice it and then take up my speech slot. And then deliver it in front of my audience. I received a lot of shovel of dirt in terms of appreciation on my back. But I did not take it for granted. I did not allow those shovel of appreciation because I did not want it to burden under those praises. Good things and bad things, you should not allow both of them to determine your destiny. Sometimes we receive a lot of appreciation and praises. We feel very good about ourselves and we do not reach beyond that point. We become stagnant, we become very comfortable with that. Has it ever happened to you when you receive so much of appreciation and praises? Hence, I would request all my friends in Toastmasters, are you giving your speeches just because of Toastmasters titles? Or you wanted to improve yourself? Or you have come here to find yourself? It occurred to me there are two kinds of people in my life. Good people with shovel of dirt praise me and bad people with shovel of dirt who actually mocked at me. And I did not allow both of them to write my destiny because I am writing my own. Will you write your own speeches? Will you write your own story? Will you write your own destiny? Will you? Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 This led me and this leads me right now to my second story where I am going to talk about good people in my life and there was one particular person who has been very good and very kind in my life I would never forget. That's my cousin Hidayat. I would fondly call him Hiddu mm -hmm. He taught me how to write Kainari Pahanda when I was in class 5. Oh he God. taught me how to write Hero Honda Splendor when I was in class 6. Oh he taught me how to swim when I was in class 6 again. He taught me how to drive a car when I was in class 12. He taught me many other things but this one important thing which I can't forget, which is my swimming lessons. We were in Karwar during my summer holidays. I was in class 6. Every morning at 6.37, we would go to a beach. I would learn to ride a bike on my Hironda Splendor. We would reach after 5-6 kilometers. We would go there. And my cousin told us, and then we are going to learn swimming from here on. <laughs> I went to those shallow waters. It was very good. There were so many people, kids, everybody were enjoying it. I was scared. First day, he was teaching me how to swim and I was learning exactly how to drown. <laughs> he gave me a life jacket. First few days, I swam 10 meters. After few days, I swam 20 meters, 30, 40 and 80. One month passed. After that, he took me to another beach, deep dark waters and said, jump. I said, where is my life jacket? He said, no life jacket. I'm not going to jump. He said, you have to. I said, I'm going to complain on. If you come back, you complain on. <laughs> he said, if not now, Azir, then when? He pushed me into the sea. And like always, I was whining in water. He said, whining doesn't help. You have to use your hands and legs. Remember your classes. Keep on pushing. He kept on motivating me. Azhar, he said, if not now, then when? The pain you are in today will prepare you for better tomorrow. Yes, absolutely. Use your hands. Use your legs. If not now, then when? If not now, then when? If not now, then when, Azhar? In no time, I crossed 80 meters without the life jacket for the first time in my life. I was scared and I was happy and it was late at the same time. Every one of us here are wearing something related to that life jacket right now. Four years ago when I was 30, I decided I should start something of my own. Entrepreneurship, I wanted to jump into the ocean of entrepreneurship. But I had my life jacket all while. I had my regular salary. 
ping on 31st of every month. You feel very happy about it. I get to travel the world. I get to travel different cities. I meet different chefs. I meet different people. I was so happy. But just because of that life jacket, I was very comfortable. I could not jump. He said, if not now, then when? And I jumped. Use your hands, use your legs. When you're uncomfortable, you will deliver your best. Because I had no option. When I lost my life jacket in the ocean, I had no option just to survive. I have to use my hands and my legs just to cross those 80 meters. When I became an entrepreneur, I had no option in my life. Just swim across. I thought I'm going to die. Has it ever happened to you when you said that you want to survive but something is pulling you back? Something is holding you back. I'm not telling you something very successful story. I'm not a successful person. But I'm going to tell you how to survive without the life check. You know what is the cost of my life jacket in entrepreneurship? I am under the debt and I have no option. But to cross that ocean, if not now, then when? If not now, then when? This is my time, this is my moment, this is my place and this is my opportunity. If not now, then when? I was broken in those four years. I every time when I think of those moments, I remember my cousin. He died. What is your life story? Are you wearing those life jackets right now? It could be anything. Somebody want to reduce some weight. You are wearing that life jacket. Remove it. And join gym workout. Do, do something about your life. Maybe you want to be happy or not happy about your relationship right now. Remove those life jacket and be yourself, be alone, watch a movie alone. What are you doing about your life? Like I said, I'm not going to tell you something, a successful story. I'm not a successful person, but I know something for sure. I would shake it off and step up on every shower of dirt. Because if not now, then when? Ladies and gentlemen, you should not allow both good things and bad things to determine your destiny. Like I said, one must write their own destiny. And you know what? You have the pencil right now with you, the broken pencil. I want you to take that pencil right now. Do you have a sharpener? Even if you're broken, you can still sharpen your skills. You can still do something about it. Shake it off and step up. Shake it off and step up. Because if not now, then yours, truly.